What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to prevent catastrophic engine failure by rebuilding your vacuum pump on your Mini Cooper S R56 with the N14 engine. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the, the algorithm and it shows YouTube that I'm doing pretty good. So uh, let's get started. My gasket is trashed. That's why I'm changing it. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild the whole thing because you can't just buy the gasket as far as I know. You have to buy the, you have to buy this. That's the part number. Ordered it off of Amazon. Let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you've used those gaskets before or if you know of another brand. Okay, you're going to want to spray some penetrating oil on all these T25 bolts right here. And let, let the penetrating, penetrating oil get a chance to soak in before you loosen these. Okay, once you've broke these T25s loose, go ahead and go ahead and unscrew them. I'll make you watch me unscrew all four of those. All right, once I've got all, once you've got all these T25s out, there's four of them. Go ahead and pull this cap off. Go ahead and let me know in the comments if uh, you think that my cat, my uh, vacuum pump is going to be too messed up on the inside to rebuild and I have to buy a new one anyway. But I'm still going to show you guys how to rebuild it, whether I have to or not. Alright, here we go. Okay, watch out for uh, these two metal things. They're just sitting in there loose. Let's set those down. That's the inside of mine. Let me get a let me get a rag and clean this out. Okay, so that's mine after cleaning it out. So I am absolutely going to buy another one, but I'm still going to rebuild this one just to show you how to do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this metal piece out. This little set that down right there. Now I'm going to take my little pick tool. I'm going to put a pick underneath this gasket. Pull it out. Like that. Now I'm going to take my T25 and I'm going to loosen this screw right here. I've already broke it loose off camera. I'm just going to take that out the rest of the way. There's a gasket in there I gotta replace too. Kind of takes a little bit of pressure to pull that out, but it comes out pretty easy. And there's that little tiny o-ring gasket. I don't know if you can see it. That brown one. Take my pick, get it underneath there, pull it off. And it went flying, so I'm not going to show you it. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take some parts cleaner or some. Uh, brake parts cleaner. I'm going to spray it inside this brass fitting right here. There's a one-way valve and hopefully it'll come out this hole right here. I don't know if you can see it but some of it is coming out. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it up a little bit better than that. I just didn't want to make you guys watch the whole thing. I'm just gonna spray it through for probably another minute. All right, off camera. I just sprayed it in a little bit, but if you put your parts cleaner or your brake parts cleaner inside there and you press this full blast, I don't want to get it on my phone or on me. Let's see if I can show it. You'll see it come out of that hole. That 
that means it's that means it's not blocked. Okay, I went ahead and sprayed down the whole thing with parts cleaner just to get it cleaner. Well, I'm gonna wipe it off before I start putting it back together. Okay, next I'm gonna put this little O-ring on this piece right here. But first, I'm gonna coat this where it goes with some synthetic motor oil. All right, in this cap, I have some five thirds. It's regular motor oil that I put in my car. It's the mobile one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that groove in, just so I know this O-ring seals. I'm also I might as well coat the whole O-ring. Now I'm gonna put this O-ring over top of this, hopefully without it popping off. Just put it on just like that. You don't want to make sure it's not all twisted up. Make sure it's just on there. Nice and neat. Alright, so now I'm going to put it back where I got it from, which was right in here. Just going to pop it in. Line the holes up. Put that T25 in there. I'm going to hand tighten it as much as I can so I know everything's lined up. Make sure I'm pressing on in on that too to make sure it's uh, it's all the way seated, which it is. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up the rest of the way with this T25. I don't want to break this plastic, but I. I definitely don't want it to leak, so I'm gonna get it pretty tight. All right, it's pretty tight. All right, now I'm gonna install this big gasket right here, it's the O-ring. First, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just get a little bit of oil in there. It's not really going in. There we go. Getting the oil in the groove like I'm doing right now is probably not as important as coating the gasket, which is what I'm about to do right now. In fact, I'm going to grab some more oil. On a side note, you can use silicone spray for this too. You don't have to use motor oil. I'm just using motor oil because I don't have any silicone spray. And in fact, if you... Uh, have silicone spray, it's probably just as good. All right, I'm go ahead and just put that in place, pop it in there. That fits in there pretty nice. All right, so now I'm going to put this metal piece back in, just slides right between those grooves right there. And these don't appear like they like they go in any special way, but I'm gonna put them in exactly how I took them out. And they literally just sit there like that. Now I'm gonna take this cap, I'm gonna put that on. Just like that. I'm going to take these T25 screws and again I'm going to hand thread them into each one of the screw holes. I'm not going to make you watch me do that because that would make the video too long, but uh, I'll do that right now. Alright, I went ahead and got those pretty snug. So you're going to want to get those, I mean you don't want to strip your aluminum. The Bentley manual doesn't give you any type of um, torque specs on these because Mini actually doesn't sell the kit to rebuild these. They want you to buy the whole thing, which I'm going to have to do anyway. So just go ahead and uh, get it as tight as you can. You don't want a vacuum leak, because if you have a vacuum leak, you won't have brakes. 
Okay, so the last step is going to be to put this o-ring on, but before I get to that, I did some research real quick. This right here, this screw, this T25 right here, torque that down to 3.5 pounds if you have an inch pound torque wrench or a torque wrench that goes out low. And these, you torque those down to seven foot pounds. I just got them tight. I know I got them tighter than seven and three and a half. So that's, that's good enough for me. So now you want to thoroughly clean this, all this area, clean every channel that's in there because that's where the oil is getting into your, your vacuum pump. So I just, I just sprayed brake clean on it and I cleaned it off with this rag. But now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some, I'm gonna put some oil inside here. Again, if you have silicone spray, uh, you can use that too. But I'm gonna go ahead and use synthetic motor oil. Just gonna pour some in there. Let it work its way around. And if you drive a Mini Cooper, you probably have some synthetic motor oil sitting around. All right. Go ahead and take this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this last gasket out of the, the package. Cover it in motor oil. This isn't used motor oil, by the way. This is brand new out of the bottle. Completely coat it. And put it on inside the groove. Make sure it goes all the way in. And there we go. That's how you rebuild your vacuum pump on a Mini Cooper S R56 with an N14 engine. All right, so that's how, that's the end of that video. Um, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. If you have any questions, I'll answer them. I, I, I reply to every comment I get. Um, please hit the like button. Uh, share this video if you know somebody that uh, needs to rebuild their vacuum pump. And uh, watch for my one of my next videos. It's going to be how to replace your vacuum pump because I'm buying a new one today. I'll see you in the next one.